A couple of weeks ago, Bartram Trail was riding a six-game winning streak and had reached the number one spot on our News 4 Jack Super 10 poll. Not bad, considering the Bears didn't have the offensive firepower that we're used to. Or so we thought. Over the course of two games, the Bears scored 99 points. Then the next week, a loss to Buholtz when they were limited to 13. Would the Bears have the offense tonight as they hosted Lake Brantley? To Longleaf Pine Parkway we go. And is that, is that a goat? A Patriots player, number 12? No, not Tom Brady. First quarter, Patriots hand the ball to Mason Norwood, who finds some space, and great effort by Sharif Denson to track him down and save the touchdown. But Norwood would get in the end zone just one play later, giving Lake Brantley a 6-0 lead. The Bears would answer right back. Riley Trujillo. Watch him drop this one in the bucket for John Pirung. A big gain. That set up a Bears touchdown, giving them a 7-6 lead. Next Bears drive, they hand the ball to Latham Biddle, who breaks free, and he is off to the races. Big gain, finally tracked down inside the 40-yard line. After the big play, Kay Duncan to Eli Sutherland in some space. And Sutherland with a stiff arm right there. Whew, and fights his way for the touchdown. Bartram Trail goes on to the 42-6 win over Lake Brantley. All right, let's check out all the scores from around the area on our Football Friday scoreboard, including some of the games we brought you highlights of. There's Bartram Trail knocking off Lake Brantley to move on to the next round. They will not see Creekside, though, in the next round. Instead, it'll be Apopka to face Bartram Trail after Apopka shuts out Creekside tonight 42 to nothing. You see uh, Fletcher's season coming to an end after they won the district. Seatric Faison's first year as head coach. Buholtz continues just to give... Trouble to teams in our area as they knock off Fleming Island 35 to 7. That's the third win for a team in uh, the uh, Duval County and Clay County area. Nice with a win. They improved now to 8 and 3 on the season. Been quite a season as they uh, knock off Spruce Creek 24 21. And uh, they've just gone final. Niceville knocking off Atlantic Coast to earn their way into the playoffs for the first time in school history. But they uh, fall in the first round 20 to six the final there in 6a our football friday game of the week riverside a 17-3 lead mentioned only nine yards surrendered by riverside's defense in the second half to columbia dominating performance in that one in 5a baker county moves on and reigns moves on in games that involve both teams from our areas in both of those games so reigns advances as does baker county but bishop kenny's season is done falling at wakulla 52 to 24 in 5A. All right, let's uh, take a look at some other scores as well as uh, we continue getting you updated on things. We've got Gadsden County knocking off Jackson today. 7-4 season for Jackson. Baldwin wins and advances to 7-3, their first win in the playoffs in school history. And uh, Keystone just dominant again tonight as they shut out Umatilla 50 to nothing. Keystone's had quite a season this year in 3a Episcopal went on the road to Tallahassee lost to FSU high 55 13 PK Young knocked off Crescent City with a big number 56 to 7 University Christian there's that big uh, win for UC who improves to 7 and 4 on the season they knock off Rocky Bayou Christian 66 to nothing Fort White season is done falling in a shutout at Lafayette and Union County continues to roll now 11-0 on the season after a 49-13 win over Trenton. And watch out for Bradford in 1A. They dropped down to 1A, and they could be a team to, contend, to be contended with in that classification after a 51-13 win over Newberry today. Now to Georgia, where all six local teams made the postseason. Let's start with uh, the biggest schools first here. Camden County losing at North Cobb 44-6. Rough end of the year. Uh, for Camden County. Ware County with a big win, though, over Banneker, 42-28. Also moving on, Pierce County with a 56-19 win over Windsor Forest. Uh, the other games will be played tomorrow night as Brunswick tries to stay undefeated. They host Tucker, while their crosstown rivals Glen Academy go uh, on the road to face Langston Hughes. 7.30 kickoffs tomorrow night in those two Georgia playoff games. And it's a 6.30 kickoff as Charlton County plays at Wilcox County. Uh, again, 7.30 for the other games, but, but uh, Charlton County will kick off at 6.30 tomorrow.
Be sure to download the Football Friday app. It's the best way to keep up to date on scores from around the area. You can also watch highlights and have a full game story from our game of the week. Also a great way to stay up to date in the playoffs. The Football Friday app for Apple or Android. Just search WJXT Football Friday. Coming up, we bring you our play of the night. It's a highlight you won't want to miss. Stick around. There's more Football Friday coming up right after this.